it's been a great day. I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. The key theme was sustaining our success. And if you look back at our success, it's really been built on this collective spirit that we as a sector have to, to jointly invest, whether it be in, in dairy companies and processing or in innovation, R&D, and to adopt it quickly and to get better. And because of that, we're in the enviable position, I'd argue, of being world's best in so many aspects of daring, which is great, and we should celebrate. And we've heard a bit about today. By the way, James Shaw said we are among the most carbon efficient in the world. Well, he's not quite right. We are the most carbon efficient, so I disagree with him there. Uh, but it was great to have him along nonetheless and to hear him give that acknowledgement to the great work that you have been doing over the years. So we're in this great position, but as we've also heard today, um, global competitors will catch up. They're focusing on this too. We've also heard from Cam Baggery about the fact that you know we are in this time of great change. So it's good that we've been able to deal with change today, but we have to acknowledge that. And he also said we need new thinking, and he said that it's no longer risk-free um, to not take risks. So I think that's a key thing we've got to think about going forward. So yes, there's some tough stuff and challenges ahead, but at the same time, I think we're up for it. And retaining that world-class status at, at, at dairy really starts at the farm, if we're really clear about it. That's where a lot of this starts. And as Phil Everest in the audience here said uh, from Canterbury today, um, just because you feel like you're right at the top of the pile doesn't mean we, we can't get better, and we do need to get better. So that is a key message for us. Now, Dairy Energy wants to help you with that. As your industry good body, we uh, are very focused on making it easier for you to apply that science into real on-farm change going forward amongst the backdrop of these new challenges that we are facing. Uh, and it could also be, of course, in the regulatory space and helping at, at the, with our partners like Fed Farmers and others. So at the end of the day, our ambition is to deliver a better future for you. And that is our purpose. Last, well, back pre-COVID in 2019, actually, we started going out to farmers to talk to you about what you felt were your priorities for the lever you invest in us and what was important to you going forward. Talked to about 500 farmers across the country. That led into last year. We all know what happened last year, various forms. We did a lot of strategy work. We also went to you to put a levy proposition to you and went through that levy vote. Through all that period, we got a huge amount of feedback from you and insight into what was important for you going forward. And we also developed another strategy. I want to share that just briefly with you now, if I can. So as I said, delivering a better future for farmers is plain and simple. That's our purpose. That's why we're here. We do that through three main ways. Firstly, developing better solutions through science. Secondly, to help try and shape a better future for us in the sector, and lastly, to support better farming. That's essentially the three areas that we work uh, for you and with you to achieve um, our goals. And we have now got five core goals, which are really focus areas I wanna share with you now. They are in the book that you've got in front of you, so I won't go into too much detail. The first one is I'd say a wicked challenge. It's pretty, pretty challenging. And this is about how do we increase profit, not maintain or sustain, but increase profit over time and reduce footprint at the same time. Methane, nitrogen mainly for us and care for our animals at the same time. So that is a big farm change piece with a lot of policy work in there as well. The next one is a heavy R&D one about developing both future farm systems at a farm level, but also sector scale solutions. It's not enough for just us all to do some things on our farm. We have to think about tackling things together, either in a catchment or in a region or right across the country through solutions. And doing that, uh, responsible solutions, competitive ones globally and locally as well, uh, and sustainably. The third one here is really key, building capability of people on farm. And we all know it's always been a challenge for us. Um, it will, if you look forward, be even more of a challenge for all of the Western world. But at the same time, COVID has highlighted that we've got some challenges around that. And we've got to really rethink this one, I think. This, like all of the Dairy and Z challenges I'm showing you, rely heavily on the input of so many other parties and partners, most importantly farmers. So we cannot achieve all these things by ourselves. This one in particular has got to be a sector and government-wide approach to getting the capability that we really need in the long run. Fifth one, a fourth one I should say, is a little bit different for us. We've actually put a de deliberately put a focus here in here 
about the need to engage and partner better with our levy payers and our farmers. Rather than just saying that's oh, something we should just do, we're actually putting something in there with goals and targets to hold ourselves more accountable for how we engage with you. I want to drill in a little bit more into that in two ticks. And lastly, uh, you've told us really clearly that we need to focus uh, our efforts and invest dual levy as well on building trust and pride in dairy farming. Trust with the public, and by public we mean everybody, and pride firstly with us. And Todd touched on some elements that sometimes challenge that pride factor. I would like the pride thing to spread to all of New Zealand, and we've got a great opportunity at the moment to build on that as well. So there's a big goal around that. The other five key focus areas, just drilling into number four, the engaging and partnering. So of the numerous engagements we have with farmers, and even in the new year, a really intense sort of focus group approach, we've picked out some core sort of themes that um, we believe really matter to farmers. Firstly, we're hearing clearly that everything we do needs to focus on the big challenges you're facing. We can't do everything and we've got to focus more. Um, we've heard feedback too that farmers want to feel the value at an individual level. We often hear from farmers, oh yep, Dairy and Z's good for the sector, you know, they're doing the sector stuff. But it doesn't always translate to me and my farm, me and my farm now, whatever it is for you individually. We've got to be able to achieve both sector level and farm level and be held to account on that. We finally, we want to be able to make that change easier for you and we've got to exercise our minds as to how we make change and take the science and the technology and, and bring that through to solutions in an easier way. So they are the, the, the core areas in that focus area four. So again, if we play back four themes we felt has come through uh, the engagement with farmers quite consistently and, and sort of play them back to you and say, if we're going to succeed here, this is what we might expect to hear back from you, that we give you practical solutions and options that improve your farm business, that we focus on what really matters, we don't try and solve everything, that we're a strong sector leader and we take an evidence-based approach and a stance, science, economics and so on, to address these big challenges. And lastly, that we understand you. Um, and that we're easy to engage with in a way that works for you, not necessarily was for us, whatever stage uh, of farming journey you're at. So right across that range as well. The other four key consistent themes, which, you know, playing back to you, we hope to aspire to achieve on your behalf. There are some changes that I just whip through quickly that I think you'll see coming forward. Um, Firstly, again, giving you more options around how you might address the big challenges we've talked about. Stronger leadership informed by science. A more personal approach, starting with listen, learn, and, and help, it, and not so much tell. Um, we want to work with more impact with our partners. And we hear this consistently, quite rightly. You want to know that we're working on behalf of you with everybody that does the same. And I mean, I'm really heartened by what is going on in that space whether it be with fed farmers or, or with um, you know, dairy companies, dairy women's network, whole raft of rural support, Neil's down the back there. There is actually, and I know farmers are often concerned and quite rightly ask the question, but there's a huge amount going on. Can we do more? Yeah, we can. We can get more impact, but the good thing is we are. On that note, Beef and Lamb's another partner, and they have a levy vote coming up this year. You're investing about $5 million a year into Beef and Lamb, which is quite a significant amount of their total budget as dairy farmers. The dairy sector provides 62% of the beef that is culled in New Zealand between cull cows and dairy beef, uh, bull beef and so on. If you add those all up, dairy origin, 62%. So highly encourage you to register because unlike Dairy and Z, you can't just get your paper sent out to you. That's what happens with us. You have to register. Please do, please have your say. Getting back onto this, we want to work more with role model farmers. You've heard from some of them today, you know, because in the, the day we know that farmers learn most from other farmers. So that's something we've got to support more. We're going to make some changes to discussion groups. We know it's always been a big part of our sector, but we also know it doesn't suit everybody and we can make some adjustments to, to, to that. And we need feedback. I've got some today, by the way. And that leads on to the next point, more tailored solutions to things that you really are, are, are troubled by or you need help with. Um, and lastly, uh, a better website, 
and, and better tools on the way. You know, we know we can do better with our website and we'll work on that as well. So that's just a snapshot of what's going on. And I'm just going to wrap up now, Helen, if I can. Um, as we heard today, uh, our sector has a very bright future. Sustaining success, that's what we should be aiming for and building off that. Um, at the same time, you know, we've got some challenges and I'm hugely optimistic and confident we can do that. Um, you know, Michelle Dickinson made a great challenge before about this linear thinking and it got me thinking, gee, you know, that's how we do think often. And for some of the challenges, we're going to have to break out of that. And that's what she said to us clearly. Think differently about how we address things. But I reckon we can. So on the positive side, you know, I think our most recent public perception results show that that there's a greater acknowledgement from New Zealanders towards the role of dairy. It's probably one of the unintended consequences, if you like, of COVID. Uh, not necessarily want it to happen that way, but actually there's, there's a, a greater closeness now, and we've got to build off that, and that's coming through in the results. Um, I think, you know, this world-leading position is really important, and we should be proud of that. We should be proud of where we're at, and that's happened over decades. Use as a platform, and let's build forward and sustain that success. So Dear NZ, just the last comment, we're, um, we're absolutely committed uh, to supporting you to be successful. The new strategy um, is focused on delivering in the areas that matter the most, we believe, and they are the issues that you've told us are most important to you, and it will guide our future activities on your behalf. So thanks very much for attending. Thank you so much for everyone who's organised this. You've done a great job, and also to our speakers. Uh, have a great trip home, and hopefully you can join us afterwards. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou koutou. Cheers.